today what we're doing is we've brought in Hydro-Quebec to test a robotic a line robot. Um, the line robot is a, basically a device that sits on top of a line and transverses from tower to tower. We're testing it up here at St. Lawrence on the uh, Moses Reynolds number three line to um, demonstrate it for the power authority and see what future uses we can, uh, we can use for it. They pass this, this line, that's where corrosion starts. Hydro-Quebec is the national uh, utility in Quebec province in Canada. They've got a research arm, it's called IREC. They've got a subdivision of that research division which is specifically into robotics and uh, they've been working for a number of years on this line robot. What we get over here is a line scout unit number five. Uh, which is basically a teleoperated robot that works on power line, can uh, do inspection on live power lines, and uh, as it goes along, it carries different sensors, including cameras, but also uh, like a robotic arm over here that is right now mounted with a temporary repair kit at the other end over here. Weather conditions are not always ideal, ice, snow, rain. Uh, tends to corrode the lines and so it's, it's really important that we maintain our assets in a, a prime condition. So what the Line Scout is capable of doing is because we've got four cameras on the device it can give us a close-up view and can repair the line at the same time we identify the defect. Line Scout technology is a unique technology in a way that it is the only uh, robot in operation right now for transmission lines that has the capability of crossing obstacles. Line Scout technology allows to gather visual information, electrical uh, resistance of the joints, and uh, more recently can allow to monitor the uh, corrosion uh, condition of ACSR conductor. The Line Scout is uh, giving us really good quality uh, pictures and the data that we're looking at is, is really valuable. Uh, the, the results of today's inspection show that the lines are in very good shape, but really the quality of the pictures and how close we can get to some of the buckles, some of the turnkeys and some of the uh, other devices at the bolts on the line is, is really good quality that we would not otherwise be able to obtain.